So, since it's winter time, uh, I'm sure some of you already have a cold, or you will eventually catch a cold at some point during this winter. Um, when you do catch a cold, it's usually your body telling you that there's something wrong with your immune system. Your immune system is weak, and your immune system is down. And this can be caused by a lot of different things. Um, lack of exercise, lack of sleep, lack of proper nutrition, an unhealthy diet. Um, but similar to this, feeling a prolonged feeling of sadness is your mind reacting to all the negative thoughts and emotions that have been going on inside your brain. Depression is a sickness that is caused by a weakened state of mind. Now, for those of you who don't know, for those of you who don't know what uh, depression feels like, um, I want to. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Yeah. So, for those of you who don't know what depression feels like, I want to sort of guide you through the process and put an image inside your head of what depression is, is like. And I want you to really try and visualize vividly inside your minds while I explain this. So imagine it's winter, it's minus 30 degrees outside, it's really cold. And the only thing you have is a warm blanket, which sounds cozy, but the catch is that warm blanket is soaked wet. So it's soaked wet with warm water, basically. And it's a really uncomfortable feeling to have cold to have, a warm, uh, to have a wet blanket over you. But the fact that it's warm and it's cold outside, the fact that the blanket is warm will give you a feeling, give you a false feeling and a false security and a false sense of safety and also warmth. So this is what depression feels like. It feels really uncomfortable, but it also feels right at the same time. It feels like you're exactly where you are and it feels like it's exactly where you want to be. Now. If that description isn't good enough, I want to show you guys a video. I want to show you guys a video. And um, I hope this encapsulates um, what I'm about to show. Yes. Hey, sorry. Yeah. Uh, so this is October 4th, 2022. Um, so last year in October, I depression for me was at its peak. And I was at the lowest point of my life. And suicidal thoughts were coming into my brain morning, day, and night. So, enjoy. The reason I'm making this video is uh, this is my suicide video. Um, uh, at the time of making this video, I still don't know if I'm going to do it, but I feel like as days go on, um, it's becoming more of an option, more of a desirable option rather than just an option. Because before it was just like, hmm, you know, if all else fails, I can just kill myself and it's whatever. But now it's like, I think I want to just not be in this state and not feel all of this sadness and depression. And I would rather you know, discontinue my life instead of going through with everything. Um, I guess there's really no point in explaining why I feel. Maybe there is, I don't even know how to structure this video. But, um, okay, I'm just gonna pour my heart out to everyone. Um, I'm, I'm, this is all impromptu, so I don't know what specifically I want to say, but I guess I'll start with my family. Right. So, this was a year ago. And during this time, I was at the lowest point in my entire life. I felt scared. I felt scared of myself, and I felt scared from myself. I thought that I would kill myself and leave everyone who I love and everyone who loved me behind in this world to suffer. And when I made this video, I thought, okay, if I make this video, I'll come to my senses, I'll see the video later on, and I'll think, oh, I'm so stupid, like, why am I thinking all this stuff? But unfortunately, that wasn't the case. Because the weeks after this video, it got worse and worse. And I'm surprised I'm actually even alive in front of you right now. But it has gotten better. 
over the last year, I found ways to overcome my depression, and I found ways to fight it. Um, and those four tips that I've used uh, to fight my depression, I've included in this presentation, which I'm about to show you. But the reason I so passionately talk about depression right in front of you today is because it's still a reality for me, and it's still an occurring, a reoccurring segment in my show called Life. So here are four tips if you ever go through depression or if you ever if you ever meet someone who's going through depression or if someone you love is going through depression. Here are four tips that can help you. Number one is express yourself. So express yourself can mean a lot of different things. And what better way to show you what I'm talking about than with another video? Dancing and singing was something that I thoroughly enjoyed. I love sang I love dancing and singing. I love karaoke. I love going to parties. I, I love going to clubs, even though it's not like a really nice place to go to. And I still do, yeah. Um, but when I say when I say express yourself, I'm not talking about just talking to people. There are many different ways that you can express yourself. There are many creative ways you can express yourself. And this was my creative form of self-expression. This was my art. And for you, it could be dancing, it could be singing, it could be drawing, it could be painting, it could be cooking. You know, anything that you make, it could be sculpting. I don't know if anyone really does that in Mongolia. But you have to express yourself. And the reason you want to express yourself is because you have to give those thoughts and those emotions a shape and a form. Because you can't fight ghosts in the dark. And you can't fight enemies that you can't see or even don't know who they are. So you have to give it shape and form. You have to understand what it is, why this shape or form is being is here, and also how you can start to battle this problem called depression of yours. Okay. Number two is fight hard. So this is the best, this is the last uh, video I'll show you. But I think this perfectly encapsulates what it's like to be depressed. Yo, yo. Yes. Oh, fuck. Fourth time. Fourth time. Yeah. Oh, God. Um. Yeah, that was the fourth time I got kicked, and that's why this guy. <laughs> but depression feels like a kick in the nuts, and the guys here will definitely know what it's like to be punched or kicked, or even flicked in the nuts. It's debilitating, and you feel like you want to fall to the ground and curl up into a little ball. That's what it feels like. But you have to fight hard. And for the guys, you know, when you get kicked in the nuts, you're going to lay down there for like two or three minutes. But after two or three minutes, you're always going to get up. So when you fall down, it doesn't mean that you should stay down. You can always stand up. And you have to fight in as many different ways as possible, whether it's simple things or the big things. It can be cooking for yourself. It can be talking to your friends. It can be spending time with your family. So make sure to fight hard. Number three is focus on the people. Now, I want to... Uh, when I say focus on the people, a lot of people will say, oh, I don't have a lot of good friends, or I'm not hanging out with the right crowd. Um, people who, I don't, I don't really know a lot of people who can support me in times, in times of need. But there's a quote that I learned a few years ago. I don't know where I learned it from, but I carry it to this day. Be someone you would want to hang out with all the time. Want to. So be someone you want to hang out with all the time. If you want to attract the type of people that you want to be with, that you want to hang out with, you got to go out and be that person. You have to be the person who goes out and does the crazy things and goes on the crazy adventures. <laughs> Hello. 
one, two, one, two. Yeah, goes on crazy adventures uh, that other people are not willing to do, that other people in your group of friends are not willing to do. You have to be that person. So yeah, number four is set simple goals. Um, you know, I think everyone has heard this. Anyone who's been depressed or has learned a little bit about depression, if you get depressed, you have to exercise. And the reason for that is because it releases dopamine in your body. Dopamine is the chemical that allows you to be satisfied, to be motivated, and to feel pleasure. Now, another thing that releases dopamine is actually achieving goals. So here are the goals that I've set so far. Number one is attend bachata and salsa classes three times a week, and number two is make a couple of contents a week. A couple, two or three. It's not big, it's not hard, it's really simple actually. And it's actually things I enjoy doing. It's not like, oh, you know, go out and meet 10 people today. I don't want to meet 10 people. I don't need to, okay? I, I have all the people I know around me, so I don't need to go out and do that. So, I want you to go out and make a list of goals after this talk, or if you know anyone who's going through depression, to advise them to make a list of goals. And I want you to help them or help yourself attack these goals as, daily, as many times as possible, as frequently as possible. Now, here are the four uh, tips that I showed. To sum it up, here are four ways that you can uh, help yourself or help someone else get out of depression. Express yourself, fight hard, focus on the people, and set simple goals. Um, I want to end this talk with this quote. And this was actually, this is actually my quote. But it's not pat patented, so patented. <laughs> that was a so I was 11 years old at the time, and it was my first attempt at suicide. Um, before I went to sleep, I set an alarm at 3 a.m. and I uh, lived on the seventh floor of the 12-story apartment. So I set an alarm at 3 a.m. I woke up, turned off the alarm, I went to my window and I opened it. I remember it was winter because it was really, really cold. And I was in my pajamas. And I looked down and I thought to myself, tomorrow's going to be a better day. And I closed the window and I went back to sleep. Believe it or not, this sentence changed my life, and this sentence saved my life. And the next time you meet someone who is depressed, or the next time you are feeling depressed, always remember this quote, and always remind those people of this quote, because it changed my life, and it saved my life, and I'm sure that it could save a couple other people's lives too. Thank you very much.